baddie it girl look period hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you like comment subscribe and follow me on all my social media it's gonna be down in the description box and let's just get right into it this makeup routine is so simple so easy and i love it and i'm super excited because i just got this new foundation baby oh my gosh this fancy foundation you have to get it like y'all are gonna see how well it blends how easy it is to use all of that so let me move y'all closer so y'all can see this is me with a fresh face i just got out the shower did my little skincare routine and now i'm getting ready to get dressed and go to my hair appointment baby because this bun is not it so the first thing i do is my eyebrows i use a little maybelline brow pencil from walmart target all of that and I know this look crazy, but I always squint my eyes a little bit because I feel like it gives me like a little natural arch for my brows instead of like just normal. But like when you squint, it makes them like a little bit more arch. So that's how I do my brows. Basically, I squint it and I follow my natural brow line instead of like making it too high or just straight. So yeah. One done, I'm gonna do the other one. Okay, so now that both of my brows are filled in, I'm gonna go ahead and use my, I don't know, I'm gonna do NARS today. I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the color Medium 22 or Ginger. I don't know which one it's called. But I just take a little bit, put it on the back of my hand. I do it twice because I have two brows. And a lot really doesn't come out when you do this. So that's a good thing. I guess you don't waste product. Then I use this, this brow brush. It's from Chanel. Actually, I literally had this since I was in high school. I act like I was in high school. So I was in high school like two, three years ago. But yeah, I had this for a really long time and I really love it. It's a good brow brush. So anyway, for the brows, I like to squint again so I could get the arch and I just do a super straight line on the top and the bottom because I like my whole brow to look freshly done, like brand new, snatched. So that's what I'm gonna do. So when I'm done carving it out, exactly how i want it i just take the side of the brush like the whole brush and i just blend it like that a little bit clearly this isn't blended but this is just how i leave it on my face before the next step so let me do the other brow real quick and then we're gonna go to the next step Okay, so for the next step, we're gonna use this NYX Control Freak. It's um, just a brow gel to hold the brows in place. To make sure that they stay. So, actually instead of blending this right out, I'm gonna let it sit a little bit so it can stay like this pigmented. But for now, I'm going to go in with my Fenty foundation. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. It is so, so good, y'all. I'm the color 310. I guess it's not a name. But it says Shake Well. So I'm gonna shake it, and you literally do not need a lot. I've only used it with this Morphe E63 foundation brush because um, I heard that beauty blenders just soak up all your foundation. And I was like, I just paid $40 for this foundation. I'm not gonna let that get soaked up. So yeah, I bought me this foundation brush. This brush was like $20, $18. And this foundation was like $38, $40, $40. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a couple of drops. You literally do not need a lot. And then I just wipe the extra like around my neck. 
And I'm gonna use this brush and I'm just gonna blend like y'all look how well this blends. It's like where did it go? What did I just put on my face? And then like it oxidizes so well, like your skin just looks amazing. Let me finish blending this out and I'm gonna catch up with y'all. And yes, when you get to your eyebrows, you can blend like close to your eyebrow, but don't take your eyebrow off. But I would definitely blend in the foundation with the concealer. Okay. Now, would you look at that? Hold on, let me get my eyes. I always be forgetting to do my eyes. So now that we're done with the foundation, you basically should have blended out most of your eyebrow concealer because to put on foundation, you have to put it everywhere, like put it on your eyes, on your eyes, around your eyebrows. So if you have a little extra concealer like I do like right here or right here that's a little too harsh, then I would just take, this is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm just gonna blend it out. And it's good that I already put the brow gel up there because sometimes when you're blending concealer, like you can mess up the brows. The next thing we're gonna use is this Fit Me powder. Well, let me show you this one. This is the wrong color and I'm clearly almost out of this one, but I have a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit. So I'm gonna use the rest of this. I'm in the color 235 and I have bought 220. Like girl, what, what you doing? What? Who am I? I'm Jayla. Who are what? you? What? Jayla. V, I did not see her on the sheet. If two plus two was four, right? And five plus five is 10, okay. What the fuck is this? But yeah, I'm gonna use this powder with a e.l.f. powder brush, just a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to basically set the foundation so it doesn't move. Even though I've actually worn it without setting it and it literally lasted all day. It looked flawless. But you know, this is just, just in case. And honestly, you can Throw on your lashes and stop here. Because what? But we're not gonna do that. You know I'm extra. I only have one more step. It's gonna take like two seconds to do everything. So this is a little palette from MAC. It's literally one of my favorite products. I just got it like a month or two ago and I love it so much. This is a contour, blush, and highlighter. And it just adds so much to the face. Like all you need is just one simple everyday palette and this would be like my everyday palette because it's not too harsh and it's not too light. Like you can't even see it. So yeah, we're gonna start with the contour. I'm gonna use a e.l.f. contour brush. I'm just gonna go into the palette. I'm done with that. Then I'm gonna use an e.l.f. blush brush. Literally all my brushes are e.l.f. The blush adds so much to your face. Look, do your little smile. You wanna go upwards towards your cheekbone like to make your face, to accentuate your face, I guess. I don't know. It also adds color to your face. And then I like to put it on my nose, like in the middle of my nose. I just look like a whole new person. Like, I have colors to my face now. And the last thing I'm gonna do is the highlight. I don't know what kind of brush. This is a small tapered brush from e.l.f. I'm just gonna do a couple dabs on the highlight. And we're gonna do that at the highest point of your cheekbones and on my nose a little bit. Okay, boom. After that, we're gonna set our face with this last little drop of rose water. I'm always running out. And then the last part of the routine is lips and lashes. That's my favorite part. So I'm going to get my lash glue and my lip water. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay. So these lashes are recycled lashes from Amazon, but they are so cute. Not recycled, but I've worn them before, so I'm wearing them again. <laughs> I'll put the link in the description box. They're so thick and fluffy, like, 
if i was to sell lashes i would only sell lashes like this because i hate those thin little strips and they be poking your eye like they be uncomfortable mm -mm. and then for the glue i use black duo but i don't like to use track glue either because that be ripping out my eyelashes i don't know how people be doing it like it really rips out my eyelashes every time like and it would be stuck like for days i'd be like girl y'all look at me glowing and look at that color like the blush just blush is everything for me so while the lashes dry i'm going to do my lashes yeah while the lashes dry i'm gonna do my lashes so right here i have this mark jacobs mascara i think it was a birthday gift from sephora but it's super good so i'm gonna just do my bottom i don't like to do my top until i put the lashes on and i blend it up there but for now i'm just gonna do the bottom Boom. So now that that's done, I'm gonna do my lips because the lashes are still dying. For the lips, I use a little NYX pencil in the color brown. Is that really the color? Yeah, it's SPL802 brown. So then I'm gonna line my lips. Oh. Okay, the lips are lined. Then I'm gonna use this ColourPop, so juicy. It's a plumping gloss in the color Roundabout. It is so good, y'all. And this combo, oh, this combo is everything. So I'm gonna just put that in the middle. You see like it's really pigmented, but it spreads out and then like it literally plumps your lips so good. And the last thing I'm gonna do is this NYX. This is Milky Gloss. And this is in the color Milk and Honey. It's very much clear, but I like it because it like, I feel like it blends everything together. So after that, our lashes are dry, almost dry. Like the glue is turning dark gray instead of light gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. Now that the lashes are on, I like to pinch them together with my nails. I know this looks crazy. So now that the lashes are on, this is the final look. Real. I wouldn't say natural. It's kind of dramatic because of the lips and the lashes. But you can do natural. You can do dramatic. This is just an everyday, like baddie it girl look period so let me do my thumbnail so thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions or comments comment down below anything that you want to know period <laughs> but for i'm gonna see y'all in the next video thanks so much for watching